Some days, Millie and Molly liked a quiet picnic. Would you like another cup of tea, Dolly? Not every game had to be running around and noisy. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Uh, Here I come! Yeah, look out, everyone! Yeah! Look at the comfrey! Look at all the dirt you put in our picnic! Do you like my new bike? I just got it! It's got the loudest bell ever! It's all right, Tappy Bogle. It's only Humphrey. Do you like it? It's nice, Humphrey. It's racing car red, so it goes really, really fast. And it's got big tyres, so we can go on the dirt and on the moon. I'm going to show everyone. But don't ring your bell so much. It upsets all the animals. You mean like this? Later that day, Millie and Molly decided to visit Farmer Hegarty and help him around the farm. Some of the animals were cute. <laughs> Some of the animals were mischievous. What are you two laughing at? Huh? Hey. <laughs> And some of the animals were scary. Hurry up, Farmer Hegarty! Don't worry, Molly. Beefy won't do anything unless he gets a fright. Yeehaw! Huh? Woo-hoo! Yeah, I'm the king of the country! Oops, time to go! Nearly got me. That was lucky. I don't like Beefy. I hate him. Now, Molly, it's all right. Don't hate Beefy. He's just a big old bull who gets cranky when things upset him. But he tried to get you. <laughs> he's been trying for years. I'm still here. I know what he's like. I know I can't trust him, so everything is fine now. Can we go somewhere else? Sure. In fact, I've a couple of special animals you haven't met before. How does that sound? Yes, please. Come on, Molly. All right. Up you come. See those two horses? That's Salt and Pepper. Can you guess how they got their names? That's what they look like. One's light, like salt, and the other one is dark. Like Pepper. Right. Like Millie and me. <laughs> I'm Salt. I'm Pepper. And those horses are the best of friends, too. <laughs> Shall we go and meet them? Yes, please. We thank you very much. There's nothing to be afraid of, Molly. These lovely beasts aren't like Beefy. They're gentle and trustworthy. But they're big. <laughs> so am I. You're not afraid of me, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. All right, then. Hello, Horsey. Hello. I'm Millie. Steady I'm... on, Millie. They have to learn to trust you. Molly? Don't worry. They're more frightened of you than you are of them. Really? Sure. Once they get to know you and understand you want to be their friends, well, they'll be your friends for life. Come on. Come and stand with Millie. Just stay here a moment. <laughs> oh, look at them! <laughs> Come over and meet them, but slowly, so you don't frighten them away again. Come on, Molly. I'll watch from over here. Come on! Nothing to worry about, only never walk behind a horse. Always let them know where you are. Don't get too close to their feet because they can tread on you accidentally. Can we go now? Sure. Enough for today. Over the next few visits, Millie and Molly learned how to earn the trust of the horses. Now make sure you hold the apple with a flat hand. You don't want old salt to nibble your thumb by accident. Now give him another bit of apple. 
Now pat him and say something quietly to him. Good boy, Sol. You like apple, don't you? Yes. Don't be afraid. Make him go away. He just wants an apple too. Open your hand flat like Millie did. Pat him. Good horsey. Should I give him another apple? I think you'd be making a friend if you do. Good horsey. Good pepper. You like apple, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> It only took a couple of visits before Millie and even Molly trusted Salt and Pepper enough to get up on their backs. See? Now they trust you, you can trust them. I'm gonna ride up around the world and be a cowgirl. I might fall off. No, you won't. Just grab this bit of mane and hang on tight, but don't let go of the reins. See? There's nothing to be afraid of. A few days later, they were even riding by themselves. This is fun. Can we take them onto the road? We don't have to. Of course you can. No cars around here. Take them for a ride up over that hill. But don't take them too close to the freeway. Noises like trucks and cars can frighten horses. We could just stay here. Oh, come on, Molly. It'll be fun. Just remember, salt and pepper will clip-clop out, but they'll always clippity-clop home. It's the clippity that'll bounce you off. Hang on tightly coming home and keep them away from loud noises. We will. Have fun. I'll wait here and mend this fence. Even though Farmer Hegarty trusted Salt and Pepper, Molly still wasn't sure as they clip-clopped along. We won't go too far, will we? No, not too far. Millie. Soon Jack and Harry were riding on Salt and Pepper too. And the old horses didn't seem to mind. And Salt and Pepper didn't seem to mind when Meg and Sophie got on. And even when Tom and George jumped on too, Salt and Pepper still didn't mind. Just don't make any sudden loud noises, alright? Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. whatever. Well, he didn't come this way. He might have frightened the horses. Oh, look, apples. Salt and Pepper love apples. Let's go in. Yeah! Shh! Not so loud. Bang! There must be 10 billion trillion ants. How many are there in the whole entire world? You like apples, don't you, boy? Yes, apples are tasty. Now, Pepper. I want you to promise that you won't go home too quickly. And don't get frightened by anything, okay? Hey, I can see the train track from here. A train? A train. A train. I like train. train. If we wait here, like we can count how many carriages there are when the train comes. That sounds like a good idea, Molly. No. No, we have to go. The train's noisy and what if it toots its horn? It might bite and salt and pepper. I think we can trust them now. But even Farmer Hegarty said about the noise. So everyone got back on the horses and clip-clopped a little further to where Farmer Hegarty had said was as far as they could go. We should go back now. We could go a little bit further. Yeah! Just oh, yeah. Yeah. No, look! Farmer Hegarty said we mustn't go near the freeway. Oh. Oh. Well, we've had a nice ride, but everyone, hang on. Because Salt and Pepper go faster going home. Sure enough, the horses did go back faster. Like Farmer Hegarty said, clippity-clop, not just clip-clop. Hey! <laughs> I'm slipping! Hold on to me tighter! Everyone held on tight. But Salt and Pepper didn't go so fast that anyone fell off. Soon, Tom and George got off. Then, Meg and Sophie. And soon after Tom and George had jumped off, Millie and Molly were nearly back to the safety of Salt and Pepper's paddock. We're back, Farmer Hegarty. Right, all. And we didn't take them anywhere near a loud noise. We had a good time. Yeah, we had a really good time. Salt and Pepper let lots of our friends have a ride too. See, those two are very trustworthy. Fine.
frightened by the noise. Of course not. Salt and Pepper made sure you were all right. Ah! Hey, help! Get me out of here! Help! Oh. You'll be all right, Humphrey. My lovely bike's broken. I'll never get another one. It was the best ever. You can always come horse riding with us. Really? Would it... Are they safe? Oh, yes. Salt and Pepper are very trustworthy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you all laughing about? What's so funny? Come on, tell me.